good afternoon, Colin here with Tech Out, and today we're going to be checking out the Slim Pen case with S Pen for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. New pen this year, so excited to check this out. One of my um, one of my top complaints on the uh, Z Fold 4 S Pen was the size and the fact that it kind of you know stuck off the back of the phone um, on the case, or you had to have a you know pretty big hinge case to store it if you were using a third party case. This one, um, there are some new third party cases coming out um, that, that you can use it with. Um, a lot of them are using like adapters though that are uh, that will fit both pens uh, because you can still use the regular Fold 4 pen with this phone. Um, if you have that pen you can still use it, you just need to get a case. So a lot of third party cases are supporting either or. Um, so here is the case right here and then there are also some extra replacement uh, pen tips right here with the removal tool. Um, this one is removable this year. Um, we'll check out the pen in one second. I'm just going to put the case on real quick. Uh, so this one, I usually don't peel the stickies off, but I'm going to go ahead and peel it off on this one just because the uh, tabs stick out over the um, screen. But you can still, you know, remove these cases and put them back on. That's not a huge deal. Um, sometimes if these stickers aren't even in the way, I just don't take them off. Um, so the adhesive isn't a must have, but we'll go ahead and use it just to keep it out of our way. So there's the top piece on. Have those stickers all over my hands. All right, and there is no adhesive for the back. It just snaps on. Let's go ahead and pop that on like so. Nice and secure there. So there is the case on the phone. Go ahead and take this off. It just tells you how to eject the S Pen. Oh, come on. This tape is not very, uh, not very friendly. All right, so to get the pen out, you just push down and it pops up. Nice, thin, nice, thin S Pen there. And then, let's see. Here's just a little comparison. This is the S23 um, Ultra S Pen, so there's a little size comparison right there. Um, one thing to note about the S Pen on the Fold 5 this year is the, ten, the pen tip does not retract into the body of the pen. Um, so you have to make sure you don't push too hard on the screen or you can damage it. Um, I guess they figured people would figure that out by now. Um, so the little safety function of the pen, of the pen going back into the, um, you know, like the little nib going back into the, the end there is gone. Um, so then to put it back, you just snap it back into place there. It just kind of holds in, um, you know, with pressure and then pop it out. Go ahead and take a look at it here. This pen, I, I, I've seen a lot of people saying, um, you know, you can use this as like a Bluetooth remote. You cannot use the, you cannot use this one that's built into the case as a Bluetooth remote. It's not paired to the phone in any way. It does have the button on it. Um, but the button, it has to be close enough to the screen to, um, to do anything. So there's no Bluetooth functionality. It's not paired to the phone, nothing like that. Um, don't need this. So you can use it to bring up your air actions and stuff like that, um, but you cannot do air command. You cannot do like your Bluetooth shutter and that kind of stuff. Um, I've seen a couple videos mistaking that, um, that you could do that, but that is not the case. Um, you can do that with the S Pen Pro because that one is Bluetooth and it does work with the Fold 5 the Fold 4 and the Fold 5. Um, but if we go down here to Advanced Features and then go to S Pen, you can see it's on, it is ready, so it knows that it is um, you know, close enough for the screen and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Air Actions right here, so that is, um, that's going to be your, uh, sorry, the other thing was Air Command, this is Air Command right here. Um, Air Actions is your Bluetooth functionality. As you can see here, there are no S Pens paired, um, so you do have to have that Bluetooth S Pen for that. Um, S Pen Text, we're gonna just go and turn that off because I don't like writing with it. Um, but here's your air command menu right here, um, so you can see all the different things you can do with it. And again, you can bring that up by pushing the, the button on the pen when the pen is close to the screen. But as you can see right here, it doesn't do anything. And then down there, it does work. Um, screen off memos, all that kind of stuff. Um, just your regular S Pen settings right there. Of course, you can use it to navigate your screen and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, be careful, don't push too hard um, because they are using more of a plastic uh, pen tip this year rather than the kind of like felt retractable one that they had in the past on the larger pen. 
um, but it does work. I don't think it'll mess up the screen as long as you don't, you know, jab into it or, you know, put a lot of pressure on it. I'm, I'm assuming if you put a lot of pressure on it, like if you're drawing or something and you start, you know, putting a lot of pressure on it, you can, um, you know, leave indents and marks on the screen. Same as kind of like your fingernails um, on that screen protector. So just be very careful with stuff like that. The pin does go nib down and go in like that. But I like this case this year, how it doesn't add a huge little like hump on the back of the case. Um, it's very easy to, you know, hold in your hand still without feeling it too large. So that is the Samsung S Pen case for the Z Fold 5. I'm Colin with Tech Out. I will be doing more case reviews here shortly. I have a case from Later Case coming. I have some stuff coming from Poetic and some stuff coming from Whitestone. So if you're interested in looking at that, make sure you subscribe. That will be here later next week. So look forward to those videos. Like I said, Colin here with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Have a great day.